Hi, welcome to CPD Me and our amazing CPD dashboard. So along with the mobile app, you can access the online dashboard, which we know some people prefer to do so you can work at a big computer or laptop. And to access your CPD dashboard, all you need to do is click this big member sign-in button at the very top of our website, which is cpdme.com. Click on the member sign in and that will take you through to your personal dashboard. So walking over your personal dashboard, this is just going to be a brief oversight. You have at the very top here a little toggle that allows you to change these boxes here and also your dancing donuts. So if I want to just look at what I've done for the last 12 months, the last 24 months or the last 36 months, I can toggle that specific entry and I can also choose lifetime if I need to. But if I just wanna see what I've done for the last 12 months for all of my CPD that I've submitted to the system via the dashboard and the mobile app, I can see it from this dashboard. The useful features is it shows you a list here of all of your different CPD categories that you select when you're uploading information and also your different activity types. So this ensures that you're taking part in different activities and also it identifies when you're taking part in the learning. So for example, myself in my own time and yourself as part of your job role. So looking at this graph here, the dancing donut, you can see that I do lots of self-directed study and equally, the next biggest percentage is myself as part of my job role. Moving down the front of the dashboard, you have the up and coming CPD events that us here at CPDME will support you with, and also a list of all your entries over the last 12 months. And this is a really useful graph for those people who are registered with governing bodies or organizations who mandatedly require you to capture CPD each month because it will quickly show you when you have got literally no entries in each of the months over the last 12. So you can see there, September was very busy for me. August, reasonably busy. But in July, I only documented one CPD activity. And if you hover over these boxes, you can see 3, 9, 19, 14, 43, so you can see how busy you've been over the month. If you scroll to the very top, on your left-hand side, you've got your information toggles, or your keypad, as we call it, and then you can document your diary, you can capture reflections, you can see all of your CPD entries, you can see your profile, you can build a complete portfolio. So this is one of the functionalities where you build all of your CPD entries and reflections together in a perfectly formatted portfolio. You've got the CPD webinars, you've got your My Files option, which is where all your files are stored for attaching to evidence or that you quickly capture on the app. You've got your shared CPD function where you can access shared CPD that other people have shared. You've got the video library where you access all of the previous webinars that were broadcast live. And you've got, of course, your CPD calendar. But at the very bottom here, you can see you've got 659 entries on your system, and that's the amount of storage that you've got. So that's the quick walk over the dashboard. Top right-hand side, you've got some options up here, so you can click onto your profile, or you can also click onto settings. Settings is really important because there's some features in there and functionality that you can toggle on and toggle off. One of the key functionalities that I'm gonna tell you about is the security logon, so this option here. If you are logged onto the dashboard and you there is no activity within 15 minutes, regardless of what you are doing, the system will log you out and it will not save anything that you are working on unless you've clicked save and continue. So this feature here is designed to protect the security and safety of your portfolio. But if you don't want that security logout functionality, just enable that and then click on save settings at the bottom and then it will return back to your dashboard and you can see up at the top right hand side you get notification. If you need any help or support you can contact us via this little help tab at the very bottom of the screen by typing your question in there and our support team will come back to you with an automatic answer or you can contact us or alternatively you can email us or send us a whatsapp if you use our mobile app.